Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Crash Bandicoot 2. So today we're going to be going into Ruination and Cold Hard Crash. But Ruination, I'll just meet you over where the green gem is. So I'll see you there in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Little monkeys jumping about. Watch out for him. You might want to get this checkpoint first. And then let's get on the green gem. Don't bother walking around on it. Once you're, once you're actually on it, just try and stay on it. Don't move whatsoever, because if you move, you will actually fall off. Because it doesn't wait for you, so... Oh, watch out for the logs. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy one. But then again, most of the colour gems aren't very easy to get, like, well, as a start anyway. But also on their levels, you know, they're not as easy to get to the end of. So, we got a little bit of trouble coming up for us in this episode. But, as long as you avoid the logs, then you should be fine. Cold Hard Crash is going to be extremely hard, I'm just throwing that out there. So for those who have come for Cold Hard Crash, expect a challenge if you haven't done it before. I mean, I've done it before, but I, it was extremely difficult and I never thought I'd have to do it again, but... Here we are doing it again, so I don't really mind, you know. Walkthrough times! Always fun. You might want to get all these uh, Wampa Fruits. I like to collect the Wampa Fruits just because, you know, like, the more Wampa Fruits you get, the more lives you get. Or the more probability you get of getting another life from them, so that's always nice. Alright, throw the last log. I thought I was going to die then. For a second. Alright, so there's the gem that's in sight. There you go. So now all you got to do is just finish the level, plain and simple, not too difficult at all. So I'll meet you back in front of Cold Hard Crash there. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to show you how to get both gems in one trial. Because that's the only way you can get the clear gems. Yeah, you guessed it. This level's going to be hard as fuck. So basically... Oh look! Free mask time! Yeah! So what you're going to want to do is you wanna get, you're going to want to get every single box. Just as usual, you know, don't don't worry about doing anything fancy. But um, <clears throat> but then once you've got every box, we're going to have to do some uh, really weird stuff in this level to get both gems. So I'll explain to you when we actually get there. I can't really explain it to you now because I'm bad at explaining things. So wait for these seals to come round. Make sure they're all gone. You can probably spin the last one. That won't really matter. Watch out for that one. It doesn't really bother me so much. And we're on to the main part of the level. That was just like the little starting beginning bit. There's actually four sections to this level, and I'll show you, you know, like, what you've got to do for each of them, so it won't, it won't really matter to you guys, but, uh, you know, to me, it's got it's all about the walkthroughs, so there you go. All right, let's see. Jump up here, get these couple of boxes. They're not really of importance. Bonus round! Bonus time! So yeah, this first one has nothing on it. This one's just got TNT. You have to make sure, though, like, in this bonus level, because I have seen it glitch out before, you might, you may actually want to go back and just check on the TNT, make sure that they get, definitely did explode. Because sometimes, for whatever reason, they don't explode. I don't know why. Also, this bit's a bit tricky. Make sure that you jump on that, get the second box up there, because that one is very hidden. You know, you may miss that. I definitely missed it coming through. I tried this a couple of times, you know, coming through here, and I did actually miss that box, so you never know. So yeah, just make sure you got that box, and you should, at the end, have 31 boxes. If you get all of the boxes, you should have 31 boxes at the end of this bonus round here. There you go, 31. Off we go. And then just continue the level as normal, up until... The next checkpoint, I believe it is? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the next checkpoint that you get. So watch out for the hedgehog, he's gonna do his little thing. You can kill them by uh, skidding. I was about to call it sliding, or spinning then, I don't know why. Just felt like it. Don't get too cocky when you've got free masks, by the way. I mean, a lot of people tend to do that, but just try not to. What you want to do, right, at this point, don't get the checkpoint. Whatever you do, don't get that checkpoint. What you want to do... Get on the skull thing first. And what you want to do first is ignore everything up to a certain point. And I'll show you what point I mean. So you want to come all the way through here. This level's going to be hard, by the way. So don't, you know, don't think it's not going to be hard because it will be hard. So 
You want to ignore every single thing you see up until a certain point. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Alright, so it's this point that you want to start getting things. You want to get this Hunamagar. And if I can, I want to spin that box. Okay, now slow down a bit. So, when you get to the end, you will actually get these boxes reappear so that you can actually get back up to where you were before. So, what you want to do, just keep going. There will be a load of Nitros coming up, so you've got to avoid some of those. Like so. It's not too difficult, just as long as you keep, keep a sort of grip on it, on what you're doing. And get past this. Now, at this point, do not get the gem. Get the box. I repeat, get the box. Do not get the gem, whatever you do. What you want to do next is just make your way back to where you were before. So avoid all of this stuff. Make sure you don't get squashed, obviously. I, th I would think that would be a bit obvious, though. And there you go. There's the boxes. So they're all good now. And then what you want to do next, obviously avoid this. Oh, no, no. I nearly fell, nearly fell down that hole there. Yeah, you want to avoid that hole. <laughs> so then, all you got to do on the way back is just get all these boxes. And then, you're going to want to get all these boxes as well. And then, once you've done that, get the life. Lives are always useful, so it's best just to have them around. Mind that Nitros. And then what you want to do is get back on the skull thing here. Make sure you actually do get back on it, not like fall down a hole. Once you have done that, you get off of the skull thing, get this checkpoint, and then kill yourself. By doing that, you may actually ask me, why have you done that? Well, by getting that checkpoint, you have now already got all the boxes. All the Nitros is now out of the way. All the enemies are now out of the way still. So all you've got to do is just make it back to the end where the gem is. And I'll meet you there in a second. Okay, so here we are at the end. Now, you want to be very, very careful how you do this. Me, personally, I'm going to try and get up on, the, on that box so I've got a more solid little jumping platform here. What you want to do... Just make sure that you actually do get the gem, because I have actually missed it before, so... There you go, you've got the gem. Now, do not get this checkpoint. What you want to do, kill yourself again. You may ask why I've just killed myself again. Well, let's see. Checkpoint. And I've already got all the boxes from the death level. Oh, look! There's a secret gem as well. So now all you have to do is just focus on completing the level. All you got to do now is just get every single box along the way, and then I'll meet you at the end, where we should have all the box gems waiting for us. So I'll see you there in just a second. And there we go. There's the gem for getting all of the boxes. So now we should have both gems, and there you go. That's Cold Hard Crush for you. So I hope this episode has helped you out if you were stuck on Cold Hard Crush or Ruination. Or if you just needed help finding a way to get round the things. So there you go. Masks do help on everything. I will just say that now. So next time, the last warp room we've got to go to is the, the last one up here. We, we should go to the secret warp room at some point. There is a secret little level there. I haven't actually gone in there yet because I want to show it to you guys. But yeah, the last thing we need to do is night fight and spaced out and pissing it away so i'll probably do all of those in one episode make it a long episode for you guys but other than that all this has to say for me is if you liked the video and it helped you out please like it and subscribe to me if you haven't done so already so i shall see you all next time so other than that all this has to say for me is i hope you're all having a great day and farewell